Hello everyone. In the last lecture, we had seen what is the preferred series and what are the types of the series and how we can find out the series. So based on that, today we are going to see few problems. So the first problem that we will see. So here. First problem: Find out the numbers of the R5 basic series, and the limit is from one to ten. From one to ten, we have to find out the R5 series. So, what is the first step? First, we have to calculate the series factor, and once we know the series factor for this R5, then we can calculate the series that is from one to ten in between one to ten. Now for R5, we know already what we are going to do. Take the fifth root of the 10. Right, this is the fifth root of the 10. Then we will get 1.5849. This is the series factor for this R5. And once you get the series factor, then we can calculate the series that is in between 1 to 10. Now, calculations of the number. And again, one thing. When we start the multiplying with the series factor and whatever the number we will get, sometimes we just round off that. Now, so as it is 1 between 1 to 10, so the first number we will take that is the 1. So this is the first number in R5 series that is from 1 to 10. Now, for the second number, what we will do? The first number into the series factor. If we multiply, then we will get the second number so second number is what first number into the series factor then we will get 1.5849 and we are just rounding off this so that is equal to nearly 1.6 so this is the second number for this r5 series for the third number what we will do so whatever the number we got the second number the second number into this again the series factor if we multiply then we will get the third number so the third number what it is the second number 1.5849 into this multiplying factor that is the series factor we can say and that is equal to its a square and then we will get nearly about 2.51 and as we had said that always we are rounding up this number so instead of 2.51 we will take 2.5 so this is the third number in a similar way if we want to calculate the fourth number means we need the third number and we multiply that third number with the series factor so third number is what 1.5849 it's a square that we have taken as it is into the series factor then it becomes its cube then we will get the value 3.98 and that is after rounding off we will get the number it is a 4 the next the fifth number what it is fourth number this value or this 3.98 you can take any one of them no problem so here we are taking this 1.5849 cube into again multiplying the series factor 1.5849 then you will get the 1.5849 raised to 4 and from this we will get the fifth number as 6.3 so again we have to go for the next number because we have to find out the number from 1 to 10 and as we got the 6.3 so again here uh, we can proceed further so the next sixth number if you want to calculate so fifth number so that is 1.5849 raised to 4 that fifth number into multiplying the series factor that is 1.5849 so we will get 1.5849 it's raised to 5 and that is equal to 10 and as they have specified the upper limit is 10 so here we got the 10 so we cannot proceed further so what they said we have to derive the series from 1 to 10 and considering r5 basic series so for the r5 basic series we calculated the series factor 1.5849 and from that we found out the number first number as a 1 second number as a 1.6 third number 2.5 fourth number that is 4 fifth number 6.3 and 6 number 10 so in between 1 to 
10, we got 6 different number for this R5 series. Now, we will see another one example. So, here what it is, find out the numbers for R20 series oblique 4 means every fourth term of this series we have to consider and the lower limit is 100 means we have to start from the 100 and uh, in between no limit and upper limit we have to is 1000 and derived series we have to find out the last one what we did that is the basic series and as this is the derived means we are deriving from the basic series so this derived series we have to see so we will solve the first step is what as usual we have to calculate the first series factor so what is the series factor here r20 is the series now for this r20 series we have to calculate the first series factor so what we will get see the 20th root of the 10 we will take so from that we will get 1.122 so this is the series factor for this r20 right then again here we have to find out every fourth term so that is the ratio factor we have to find out. If it is a basic series, uh, we go on multiplying directly series factor. But here, uh, for the derived series, we have to find out the ratio factor. And we go on multiplying the ratio factor uh, to find out the numbers. So in the basic, we multiply series factor. And in the derived, we multiply the ratio factor. Since every fourth term of this R20 series is selected, the ratio factor phi is given by what it is? Phi is equal to that 1.122. What is the 1.122? It is the series factor. Means series factor raised to 4 we have to take as it is every fourth term they have specified. If they have given every sixth term, then 1.22 raised to 6. So here, as they have given the fourth term, so that series factor raised to 4 if you take then you will get 1.5848 now this becomes the ratio factor that is the phi right so this is important and we go on multiplying this ratio factor in case of the derived series now we will see we will calculate the numbers so as they have given the initial limit and the upper limit initial limit is what 100 and the higher limit that is the 1000 so the first number we will take as it is usual the 100 and if you want to calculate the second number what we will do the first number into that factor here it is the series factor right so 1.5848 that is equal to 158.48 and we are rounding off that then we will get a 160 then next if you want the third number then 100 into 1.5848 so this becomes what it is it is the second number so if you see this is the second number into multiplying that ratio factor then we will get the uh, third number so this multiplication uh, 1.5848 so it is square then it becomes 251.16 and after rounding off we will get 250 as a third number so the first is 100, second is 160, third is 250. Still, we have to go up to 1000. So, we will go for the next number that is the fourth number. What it is? The third number, previous number, this is 100 into 1.5 per square. This is the third number and multiply by the factor, ratio factor here. Then it is 1.5848. for it. Then we will get this 1.5 per cube into 100. Then you will get a 398. 0 0.04 and after rounding of this uh, we will get the 400 so again we will go for the next number because upper limit is 1000 still we haven't got that then we will go for the fifth number so fourth number into multiplying by ratio factor so this is the fourth number 100 into 1.5 for a cube this is the fourth number into that ratio factor 1.58 for it then we will get the number fifth that is 630.81 and we will round up this number also then we will get the 630 so again we will go for the next number that is the sixth number so fifth number 100 into 1.5848 raised to 4 as it is into the ratio factor we will multiply 
5848 then it will get the sixth number so here sixth number will get 999.71 and if we equate this then we will get the 1000 as a sixth number now we got the upper limit what they specified the initial is what the lower limit is 100 and the upper limit is 1000 so here we reach the upper limit so for that r20 by 4 series and the upper limit 100 to 1000 we got the different numbers series number so the first number is 100 second number that is 160 third to 50 fourth that is 400 fifth 630 and the sixth one the 1000 okay thank you next problem we will see next lecture